let me show you some tips and tricks for Realme Note 70T. Although this smartphone is pretty cheap, it has uh, several different features that are worth mentioning. And of course, these features can sometimes be found on other Realme smartphones or other smartphones in general. Nevertheless, uh, I believe it is still worth mentioning them. So let's start by opening settings and we're going to go to wallpaper and style because over here we can find settings for the pulse light. Pulse light is located over here at the back. This ring over here is a little LED uh, light that can be toggled, generally speaking, over here. It can be used, for example, for um, lighting it up when we have incoming calls, when we receive notifications, when the alarm goes off, or when we listen to music and so on and so forth. Not only that, it can also be used, to, for example, while charging. So when you charge, there is a pulsing light, and when there is low battery, then it can emit uh, red uh, light as well. So definitely a pretty cool feature that I actually didn't see on other smartphones so far. Uh, perhaps it exists in some other way, shape or form, but in this case we have this little, little cool ring uh, right next to cameras and it can be quite fun to use. Of course, if you don't want it to um, be toggled, um, then you can completely turn it off. And sometimes we can also change the color as well. For example, if we have always on feature enabled, then we can change the color of here so we can glow uh, red, for example, and then it looks like this. So pretty cool stuff. Of course, um, this feature drains the battery quite a bit, so you have to keep that in mind if you want to actually leave it enabled all the time. Now, another thing that I want to show you is in display and brightness. Over here, if we scroll down, we have a video color boost, which enhances video quality um, to make colors look brighter and more vivid. So although we do not have HDR on anything like that, we can actually use this color boost that can make a little bit of a difference. Over here, if we go to special features in settings, we can find a bunch of different tools that all of them are actually quite worth uh, mentioning. Um, but I'm going to name a few that I think stand out the most. So for example, over here we have speaker cleaner. So we can press the start button to play a little sound that vibrates the speaker to clean out dust and water. And for best results, we want to keep the speaker hole facing downward. So you want to keep your phone like this essentially. And of course, we want to increase the volume. Now, of course, the sound may be loud because of that, but this is how the uh, cleaner works. Besides that, we have air gestures, which uh, I found on some other Realme smartphones as well. But in this case, we can use air gestures in order to, for example, uh, use for calls. Over here we have, I believe if we swipe, we should be able to see. There we go. We can answer calls with a gesture and mute calls as well. We can also press learn gestures in order to find out how and learn how to use them. There is also an app air gesture, so you can use, for example, for scrolling on, for example, on TikTok. And we can also see the list of supported apps, of course. These apps that you see over here are the apps that you also have um, installed. So keep that in mind that if you don't see uh, any app over here, then it doesn't always have to uh, be that it's not supported. It can just mean that you don't have it installed, unless, of course, you actually have it installed. So, yeah. All right, so now let's go back. Another thing that I want to show you also in special features is the dynamic button, uh, which allows you to create a few shortcuts related to the power button that we have over here. Of course, the power button also uses the fingerprint sensor. So if you want to unlock your phone with the fingerprint, then instead of having it on display, we have it on uh, the power button. And this also allows us to, uh, for example, uh, make use of additional uh, shortcuts. For example, we can double tap the power button in order to do something. So you don't really have to press the button, you can just tap, so something like this. And of course, it can be with any finger. We can also double press, we can also swipe up and down, and by default we use it to change the volume. As you can see over here, we can swipe up on the power button in order to adjust the volume. In my case, it doesn't really work that great, but maybe I just have to do it slower. But as you can see, it works just fine. So definitely worth checking out. All right, and besides that, what we can also do is scroll all the way down and go to accessibility and convenience. Over here, we can also find a bunch of different tools and features that are uh, pretty good to know about. So you can go through these uh, settings uh, over here in order to find them out. However, what I want to mention is the gloves mode in touch assist. So um, if you use gloves, you can actually still use a smartphone when this option is enabled. We can turn it on for 12 hours and after those 12 hours, this uh, gloves mode will be automatically disabled. 
So keep that in mind. But of course, if you wear gloves, if you want, if you don't want to take them out every time you try to do something with your smartphone, but of course you can just enable this option so that it can improve the um, the touch sensor, the, the sensitivity of the touch. And yeah, and it can be quite useful. Besides that, there is also the screen protector mode, which can also be quite useful. And yeah, besides that, in accessibility and convenience, we can also find the gestures and motions. And I think it is worth uh, figuring out how to use these screen of gestures, where we can, for example, draw a V symbol in order to turn on the flashlight. This works when the screen is off. Uh, so you can, for example, quickly toggle a flashlight by just performing this little V symbol uh, letter. And there's also O to open the camera. Unfortunately, we cannot really um, change what should happen when you draw these two letters. Um, it's just like fixed and uh, we cannot change it, but it's still pretty uh, worth knowing uh, because me personally, I like uh, certain uh, shortcuts to certain features. And for example, uh, if you often lose a flashlight, then you might be happy to use this one over here. And besides that, in gestures and motions, we can also find hush ring over here, which allows you to uh, decrease the volume of the ringtone when someone calls you when you pick up your smartphone. So when you have an incoming call, we can just pick up your phone and the ringtone will, um, the volume of the ringtone will, um, will be decreased. And that's pretty much it. Of course, as I uh, mentioned before, there are multiple other stuff that are worth uh, checking out, especially over here in the uh, convenience section and as well as in the special features so be sure to check them out once you have uh, your realme note 70t and that's pretty much it thanks for watching leave a like and subscribe